four four is clear to Winnipeg. Georgia five departure, departure runway two six left. Departure is one three two three. Two six four five. Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome to another FSX video. Today we are flying the Airbus A319, A319-100, <coughs> sorry, with uh, United Airlines. And today's flight is going to be United 1542, service from San Francisco SFO, as you can tell, to Denver, which is a scenery I just picked up recently, and it is awesome. I really want to show you guys that scenery, because it is just uh, so cool. Uh, planned flight time today is... Uh, Roughly two hours, an hour and 59 minutes with 13 reserves. Um, total release fuel we're taking on is 7 tons, 3 hours and 7 minutes of fuel. Um, we don't have a shared cockpit today. I couldn't find anybody to do a shared cockpit with for this flight, so we're on our own. Uh, we're taking the Trunken 2 departure Sierra transition, and then we're flying as far via the flight plan and the Teller 2 arrival into Denver once we get there. Flying at flight level 370 this evening and so that's pretty much it for the flight. We do have San Francisco ground online. Uh, center was online earlier but now they're off so we just have ground for the meantime but we'll probably get some ATC along the route. Uh, without further ado let's hop into the cockpit here or the flight deck I should say. And uh, we got some traffic here. I was originally going to fly a 7-4, but it would have landed at 3 in the morning my time, and that would have sucked, because I would I need to work tomorrow, which is a pain in the butt. Reset my throttles there. Okay, so I'm using my iPad as the FMC, so I'm going to quickly pop down here <coughs> and uh, set everything up. You guys can see on the left MCDU, I'll move over to it. And uh, as I enter in stuff there. Okay. So let's get that up there. Actually, we'll go to our load and fuel real quick. Uh, up 0 0.8 units, so I don't need to change anything. Cool. That'll be flaps 1 departure. And then we'll enter in our flight plan. So, if I grab my flight plan here in paper form. Uh, it's a trunken 2 to Syrah, so let's enter in Syrah here. S-Y-R-A-H. And from Syrah, we're taking an airway. So Syrah Airway, the Quebec 128. There's a low altitude airway for the climb out to Jiska. J-S-I-C-A. Beautiful. See if there's another airway after Jiska. Oops, direct MLF. Hey guys, sorry, I'm sure you've heard my breathing by now. Um, Mike was a little bit too close to my mouth in, uh, or my nose in this first part. Um, it should cut out by the next part, but uh, when the engines are on, you shouldn't hear it. So, apologies in advance. Actually, put in my runway first. Or otherwise, it would get confused. The trunk 2 departure. Oops, sorry, missed it. Sierra transition. Sierra correct 128 to Jiska. From Jiska, it's track to MLF. I'm just going to check, see if I filed that. Yeah, I did. So, MLF, enter. And from MLF, it's the Jet 28. To HVE. Let's see if there's another way after that. Nope, direct Wolf.
W O L L F. And then from there, it's the transition to the Teller 2 arrival into Denver. So we're going to go to Denver. We're going to select a random arrival. Uh, let's just say for now they're using. Uh, we're going to take 2 6 or whatever it is. And we're going to use the Teller 2 arrival. Here's the Teller 2. Go all the way up and see if we have a transition. Yep, there it is. Oh. Wolf. There we go. Inserts. Go for our flight plan here. Looks good. Clear the disco. And then Denver. We'll go back to our performance page and we have our V speeds. Very bloody slow. My god. 102 is our V1. That's insane. Wow. That's really, really quick, that is. Alright. And let's see. We got ground on there. Play for adjustments here. We don't need to do that. Okay. So, just to go for our flight plan real quick. It's the Trunken 2 departure. Uh, to transition to Sierra, Sierra to Jiska, Jiska by the Quebec 128 till Milford VOR, from Milford VOR it's the Jet 28 to Han Hanksfield, or Hanksville, sorry, VOR, and then direct Wolf and the Teller 2 arrival into runway whatever is the active at that time. We still do not know the winds, because they can change in a two hour flight, so we will get a weather briefing before we get to our destination. And other than that, we are ready to go. So we can run for our checklist and pre-flight. Okay, so. Actually, I'm going to run those checklist guys because it makes it a little bit more interesting for you guys. I'll run everything by myself, though. So, um, uh, flight briefing performed, ADRS is nav, cabin signs are on and auto, fuel is checked, 7.0 kilograms. Seatbelt's coming on. I'm going to ask for catering while I'm doing this. Cabin signs, good. Takeoff data inserted. Altimeters, we're going to switch over to the ATIS for active sky. Get our air altimeter. Kilo, Sierra, Foxtrot, Oscar, airport information. Kilo, zero, zero, five, six, Zulu, weather, wind, two, seven, seven, at one, five, visibility, one, zero, sky condition, few clouds at two, thousand, five, hundred, two, zero, thousand, scatter, temperature, two, zero, two point, one, two, altimeter, two, nine, or eight, five, advise on initial contact that you have information. Kilo, Okay, kilos. kilo and two, nine, eight, five, winds are 15 knots from the left, so we might be taking the two eights. Um, because if it's at or above, uh, if it's above 15, we definitely have to switch um, to the other runway. So, not sure for now, but for now we'll just expect that. And we'll just let some fresh air in here for now, since it's warm outside. Random police car stuck in the uh, <laughs> in the side. Yeah, if a uh, flight beam, that's a little error you made there. You put half of a police car attached to a wall. Lol. Oh, that jetway's really close to the window. Anyways, I'll watch the catering guys. We're going to need to open the doors for them. I'm going to run the cockpit prep. Okay, let's start with a cockpit preparation checklist. Engine master? Both off. Engine mode selector? Check normal. Parking brake? Off. Thrust levers? Idle. Ecam recall? Alright, recall. Checked. Anti skid? On. Emergency lights? Checked and armed. No smoking signs? On. Air condition? Checked. Ventilation panel? Is checked. Fuel pumps? Okay, ventilation, now we gotta go to the fuel pumps. So up we go. Set on. A deer's. Checked. Checklist complete. Cool. Ventilation is all this stuff, guys, by the way. And that. Oh, 
And there's something that we should check that is not in the Aerosoft default check, and that would be the APU fire. And before we do boarding and uh, engine fire, we should do this first. Because it could scare some passengers. So I'll set it off. Can cancel the warning. We'll check our EFIS display, APU fire, and it gives us our checklist for that. That's good. We can disable that. And we'll go engine number two. Oops. Same thing. Beautiful. Oh, there's the catering guy. He truck disappears there, that's funny. Anyways, um oh. engine one, check that. Looks good. Wing sign comes off. Beauty. Well, that's all good. Once the catering is done, we'll set that all in there. We'll set 5,000 for now. And while they're doing that, we can actually ask for clearance on 121.8. So we'll tune that in there. Pop over. And we can close our catering doors as well. I hope he's not going to be too loud, but shouldn't be. Um, we'll request boarding. Oh, bloody hell. That was the lag. It's a bit laggy at this scenery today. It's 25 frames per second, but it's just a little jitter for some reason. Probably the clouds. Anyways, let's, uh, let's call for clearance real quick. Let me get my notepad and pen first, so I'm ready to write stuff down. San Francisco ground, good evening. United 1542 with the weather IFR to Denver. So you cut out for the last uh, squawk code number. Could you repeat squawk for United 1542? United 1542, squawk tree trees to 3302. Roger, cleared to Denver by the trunk and two departure Sarah transition has fouled. The climb via SID except maintain 3000. Expect flight level 3701 is a minute to have departure. Squawk 3302, three, United 1542. 1542, repack, expect right, left for departure. 30 taxi. United 1542, Roger. Yeah, he, he's breaking up a little bit, guys. I don't know if you can hear him, but. Yeah. Alright, let's put in that squawk code. San Francisco ground, Southwest oh. 216, request IFR to Los Angeles Airport as filed. My god, that kid's loud. Holy shit. Los Angeles International Airport via the port 7 departure after transition climb by Civic 17 3000. Expect, expect flight level 330 five minutes after departure, depart, departure frequency offline squawk 3301. My god, dude. Southwest 216. Speaking so loud. Southwest 216, read back correct. Expect range to be left for departure. Advisory taxi. 
Alright, two eight left for departure, and one ready back for stealth. Let's do sixteen. Well, yeah, he gave us two eight left as well because it's a fifteen knot crosswind. So two eight left, and we'll still take the same Sid. Okay, three three zero two three thousand. So we're gonna set three thousand initially. We can climb right up on. There's no departure, um, but we'll have that in for now. All right, boarding's complete. That guy's just taking out his jet thingy or freaking um, luggage carts. We can close all doors, and then the next checklist will commence. Boom! All closed. Lovely. Okay, let's do the before start checklist. Windows and doors. APU. Closed and locked. APU. Set on. APU bleed. On. External power. Beacon. Don't disconnect external power until the APU is on. So we will wait for that. Watch down here. External power. There's point eight trim. It gives us twenty five CFG. External power. Off. And ground connections. Spark and brake. Set on. External power. Disconnected and off. Cabin signs. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Barrel reference. Checked. Two, nine, or eight, five. Two, nine, or eight, five. Check. Beacon lights. On. Checklist complete. Okay, and then we'll wait for this guy and we'll do our ground proximity warning system test. Flight slow. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. That shouldn't be it. Flight slow. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Well, that was rather short. The other ones are longer than that. That's weird. We'll test the first officers. Yeah, it doesn't even let us click that one. That's annoying. That's really weird. Should let us do that in the whole test. Check is complete. No gear steering disconnected for push. Release parking brakes. All right, parking brakes. Parking brakes, release. Okay, here we go. All clear behind the aircraft. And we'll start our A cars. Safe alone. Start Hello. engines for discretion. We're excited to have you aboard. And we appreciate your attention as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. FAA regulation requires you to follow the instructions of our crew members and comply with posted and lighted signs. Alright, start number two. In case of unexpected Starting engine two. Keep your seatbelt fastened even when the seatbelt sign is off. Please take a moment to look around in order to familiarize yourself 
with this aircraft. Oops. This Boeing 787 has eight exit doors, four on each side of the aircraft. If the doors are opened in an emergency, slide rafts will automatically inflate. In a water landing, slide rafts detach from the aircraft and are used as life rafts. All eight exits are marked. That was a weird pushback. I'm not sure why it didn't push us left or right. Parking brakes are set. Remember, they may be behind you. If you're seated in an exit row, you may be asked to assist the crew during an evacuation. Just about if stabilized you're engine too. Comfortable, please ask the flight attendant to be moved. If you must evacuate the aircraft, exit path lights on or near the floor will illuminate and guide you to the exit. Engine two Look for is stabilized. Color horn exit slide Starting number one. An exit. Leave all carry-on bags behind. Please refer to the safety card. Oh, there it is, number one. If necessary, an oxygen mask will drop from above your seat. If a strap appears, pull down on the strap to access your mask. Firmly pull the mask to extend the tubing. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and slip the band over your head. The band does not require adjustment. To start the flow of oxygen, breathe normally. Make sure your mask is secure before helping others. Should you need it, you'll find a light vest equipped with a water Fire behind the aircraft, left and right. When directed, pull the tab to remove the pouch. Tear open the pouch, remove, and unfold the vest. Slip it over your head. Wrap the belt around your waist and secure it to the buckle in front. Pull the loose Engine end one stabilized. Inflate your vest just prior to exiting the aircraft by pulling down sharply on the red tab. You can also it's weird, these seem to have the whole old the sounds. This aircraft is also equipped with the aqua brake pressure never made a noise. If necessary. Weird. Anyways, taxi's on. Smoking is never allowed on the aircraft. U.S. law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying laboratory We'll go flaps one. Detectors. We'll take the parking brake out and we'll line her up with the taxiway before we do anything else. Comply with lighted signs and crew member instructions. Oh, that's quickly. For a taxi, line her up. take off and landing. Large electronic devices must be turned off and stowed. For international destinations, your flight attendants will advise you if it's necessary to turn off and stow your device. Engine mode selector. Check normal. Make sure APU you bleed. All smartphones, tablets, and e-readers to airplane mode. We'll be taking off soon. All right, let's Please line her up. APU bleeds off. Set it off. APU Please be considerate of other passengers. Only one small bag and one personal item. I think you should left the uh, Lima Fox Strat and we didn't catch up in there. At United States is global. Lima Fox Strat. Round spoilers? Oh. Oh. Thanks. Set. Enjoy your flight. Rudder trim? Alright, Lima Fox Strat and 2998 for Southwest 216. Flight controls? Okay, flight controls. Left taxi via Alpha, Lima, Foxtrot, and Alpha Twitter is 298. Pull up. Hi, right, sorry Pull about down. that. We didn't catch Alpha there. You were cutting in and out, but we're good now. Southwest 216. Neutral. Rudder. There you go. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Check. Flaps. Flaps one. Anti eyes off. Ecam status checked. Ecam door page. All right, door page. Wrong one. That one. Checked. Hand signal received. All right, good. Checklist turn pilot on now for uh, the taxi checklist and the other thing, other other thing checklist. The uh, before takeoff. All right, we'll call ground now. Ground United fifteen forty two taxi. Alpha Fox Alpha Fox hold short one left, United fifteen forty two. Alright, a little bit of power and we'll start moving. There we go.
Perfect. And the taxing checklist. Here's Alpha. Nose light? Taxi? Brake check? Or slightly touch Pedal the brakes. Press check. There we Zero. go. Check. Auto brakes? Max. Takeoff data? Reviewed. FCU? Checked. Flight instruments? Checked. Checked. TO config? Checked. And no Checklist blue. Checklist complete. Awesome. A little bit of a stutter every once in a while, but not too bad. Check our wing view. Oh, awesome. It's amazing how much the scenery looks like San Francisco. And I've been in San Francisco a couple times, and it just... This is just out of this world, like, how, how good it looks. It's insane. Flight beam, or, uh, flight beam, you've done a wonderful job as always, man. Wow. So great. Twenty knots, there we go. Idle power. Oh, twenty one. I'll let it glide a little bit slower. Oh bloody hell. Nine fifteen twelve, no foot no further AT two service available, cross right one left, right one right. From right one right, your discretion to exchange crew today. Cross one left, one right, United fifteen forty two, good day. See you later. Yeah, and uh, free exchange proof is approved. Roger, free exchange proof, thanks, United 1542. That, my friends, is a Emirates A380 at a small gate. That's funny. Well, anyways, um, we're cleared across. We'll switch over to Unicom now. Alright. One of the first times I've used 28 left in a while at San Francisco. That is for sure. Alright, we're clear. One right. Clear as well. There was a southwest that was coming as well, but I don't know where the hell he is. I think he's still at the gate. Yeah, he is. He hasn't even pushed yet. It's a 733. He's probably an X plane. I'm not sure why he isn't called yet, or it might have been this guy actually. And a CRJ, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, he's going to one right. Interesting. Let's see if we can see him from the wing view. Alright, oh, you can just see him over there. There he is. Right where my mouse is. Better pay attention, we're making a right turn right now. It's 
It's funny, I'm not giving this thing any power and it's still maintaining 20, 21 knots. That's insane. This bug friction thing is awesome, this Lua DLL. Oh, it's a lifesaver. I think that other guy got 2A left as well, but I guess he's just not coming here. A little bit of break in here. All right, we're gonna hold short here. See what that CRJ is doing. I think he's rolling. I can barely see him there. Let's zoom in. Oh, actually, no. He might be coming to two eight left as well. Yeah, he's on the taxiway. Run around all the way around there. Went to two eight left. Cool. All right, we're cleared to go. Before takeoff checklist, here we are. And next page. Flight attendant, seats for takeoff, please. Before takeoff checklist, please. Brake temperature? Checked. Brake fans? Off. Engine mode selector? Approach Checked. is clear. TCAS. TARA, tilt above. Exterior lights? Set on. Sliding tables? Stowed. Stowed. Checklist complete. A little bit cloudy. It's gonna be a really bumpy departure, guys, by the way. When it's at 15 knots, it's definitely gonna be a bit bumpy. CRJ is gonna get a cool view. It's probably a 737 since he's southwest, but he's just put the wrong IKO in, so he's a CRJ for us. Which is uh, interesting, but uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, the frame seems to dip a little bit down when I look this way. Anyways, a little bit of nose forward pressure, 50%. Both engines are rising together and stable and flex. Take off. Man Maybe. flex, SRS, and runway. Check. Power set. Power set. 80 knots. Cross check, it's rising as well. 100 knots. Checked. Alright, neutral on the... Uh, v one Rotate. And pull back on the stick. Don't want to pull it back too much. Nice, easy rotation. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. And we're up. Now. Check. Good climb. Engines are good. Beauty. Get to see all the terminals and everything. Gear is up, lights off. All right, are we gonna right turn here? Lower the nose, gain some speed. Back to climb thrust. Climb thrust. Follow our flight director as best we can here. They'll raise the flaps flap on schedule. Speed check. Flap zero. 
There comes the first launch and of flaps. The after checklist, please. And we'll dial in 370. Engine mode selector? Check normal. Spoilers? Disarmed. Flaps? Check retracted. Landing gear? Gear up. Lights off. Exterior lights? Set off. Packs? Uh, both on. Anti eyes? Off. TCAS? Checked. Altimeter? Two. Nine eight five. Two nine -er. eight five checked. Checklist complete. Bumpy as predicted. Start loving her out to continue on course. SFO to the right there. Cool stuff. Autopilot, Autopilot one. What's going on? Make sure all the commands are in. Pop down to FMC. Climb's good. We'll check the cruise. What is our mock speed going to be? It's going to be Mach 77. We're going to increase our uh, cost index to 80 so we have a higher cruise speed. And there goes Mach 79. Beautiful. Looking good. We're going direct to Trunken. And we'll confirm that on the ND as well. Beautiful. Get a wing view in there. Oh, beautiful. San Francisco off in the distance. Awesome. This Airbus is really nice, but I still can't wait for the flight sim labs when they come out. That would just be so awesome. Can't wait to get my hands on that. Alrighty, through 10,000, here we are. Passing 10,000 feet. Lights off. Off. There we go. Drunken hmm. 12 Cosmic. Speed's coming up. Get rid of airports. Don't need those. Weather radar is on. Oh, what the hell? I've just noticed something, guys. Probably an error in the Airbus. There's a hole in the damn plane. What the hell? What the hell is that? It's like they missed a texture or something. It's not there on this side. It's fine on this side. But if we go to this side, we can see through the damn thing. See all the way to the other side. You can also see the ground. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, we'll just ignore that for now. That's kind of a weird thing. I guess we can let Airbus know. No, not Airbus, sorry. Aerosoft. Yeah, weird. But, for now, just to climb up to 370. And, um, I will talk to you guys in a little bit when we're about mid-flight planning for our descent. Alright, guys, see you in a minute.
guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, oh my god, it's dark in here. Let's, uh, let's turn on some lights. Wish you could dim those a bit, but eh, that's it. Um, we're just about to uh, hit top of descent in about 60 miles uh, in front of us here, as you can see. Uh, we have the weather for Denver, if I can pick it up here. I uh, had no ATC along the route, but I did uh, transition from daylight flying to sunset flying. So now we are flighting, or flying, not flighting, uh, night ops, so night operations. And if we hop down to our weather here, uh, the METAR for Denver is uh, 300, or winds 300 at 6 knots, visibility 10 plus miles, a few clouds 4,000, scattered 10,000, broken 1 to 5,000. Temperature 11, dew point 0, 06. Altimeter 2, 9 or, 9 or 6. And that's it. So, if we go to our page here, I will pop it up. Uh, Denver charts. So, I'll pop out here so I can see the runways. And since the winds are 300 at 6, we'll be taking the 3 4 runways or whatever you like to call them, the 3 4s, 3 5s. We'll most likely take 3-5 left, as 3-4 right and 3-4 left will be used for departures. So, if we pop down to our MCDU here, we can go to flight plan. We planned originally 2-6, so not off uh, completely, but we need a different runway, of course. Uh, so, the ILS 3-4 Sorry, was it three, four, three, five? Three, five left, sorry. Three, five left is set. We have our transition wolf in there. Teller two. Nothing needs to be entered other than that. We'll insert that and we'll quickly move our view back a slight bit. And a little bit up. We get to that plan down to ten and we'll step through that. I will use the arrows on my iPad and we can see that arrival right there. Straight into three four left. <coughs> Beautiful, looks like a really nice approach. Awesome. So leave it at 160, we'll pop back down to the FMC or C MCDU. I always seem to call it that. Um, but anyways, let's go to the approach. We'll grab our weather again and we'll enter all of that good stuff in there. And before I do that, let's get our gates uh, for the arrival, so we're going to write that down as well, so we know where we're going. Might ask for a follow me as well, but we are going to be at gate Bravo 18. Actually, I think I know where that is, so it shouldn't be too hard. Awesome, 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 awesome. Lovely stuff. Back into the sim. Okay, so QNH 2992. Sorry, 906. I'm thinking about transition level. Lol. Anyways, um, temperatures 11. Winds are 3006. Transition altitude is 18,000 feet. We're going to just go for a generic radio altimeter decision height because we're going to be flying it manually. And 200 is roughly the um, altitude that we should start our um, minimums at. And it's pretty much visual weather, uh, cloudy up until you get down below the clouds, which are 4,000 is when the clouds will stop. So we have lots of room, which is awesome. We're going to start our descent prep right away. Okay, let's go through the descent preparation checklist. Seatbelt signs? On. Anti eyes. Off. Landing information. Received. Altimeter. Standard. Landing elevation. Checked. Barrel radio. Checked. Checklist complete. Here. Got a gross weight there. We got 2,600 or 2.6 tons of fuel. Lovely. 
with tons of fuel for landing. We'll, about, we'll have roughly two tons uh, at the arrival point into Denver. And I'm going to go down to the FMCDU. MCDU, I keep calling it FMC because I'm used to the Boeings. Um, there's no ATC, we don't need the scent clearance or anything. So we're going to go to find our final intersection, this is what I like to do at least, which is Demons, which is the before entering the ILS. But I'm going to go to 11,000, or sorry, 9,000 for now. Mm. 9,000 for now at Selby. So Selby, that should be good, 9,000. The airport's 5,000 feet above sea level, so 9,000 would be good, and then we can start vectoring ourselves uh, down to 4,000 for that final, or sorry, 7,000 for that final approach fix. Down to 80. Top of descent is coming out there, as you can see. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it better, maybe. On um, the it's 50 nautical miles, roughly, and it says 12 on the MCDU. So we're going to start our descent now. Initiating descent. So it doesn't have to. FMA check. Radar tilt. So it doesn't have to descend as Set quickly, below. hopefully. But we will probably hit that magenta ball somewhere down, because we're only going a thousand feet a minute, and then we'll have to descend a little bit quicker. This magenta ball uh, up here would start coming down quite quite quickly. See what Unicom is saying. Ah, Salt Lake City guy. Don't need to worry about him. Okay. Well, just monitoring the descent uh, until we get to another phase of flight. Which is transition altitude. 18,000 feet, and then I will uh, start talking with you guys a lot up there and preparing the aircraft for arrival. So, see you guys then. Okay, dudes, we're back. Past transition altitude, we had some weather, so we went through a little bit. Um, there's some weather off the west side of Denver over there, which is, oh, a little bit of a freeze approaching the airport scenery. Um, that was quite um, bumpy, and it, you can still see the bumps right now uh, visually with the Easy Dog bouncing around like a bat out of hell. Um, but we can start prepping the aircraft now for the arrival and um, everything into Denver. So I'm going to go ahead and set 7,000 feet now, which is our final altitude after the D cell. page there. Leveling off 13,000 here, those of you got an altitude constraint uh, due to all the mountains and terrain around. I can show you with the terrain radar. There is a lot of mountains around Denver. Uh, if you look on any chart, you can see that uh, quite extensively. We'll throw it off and get the weather on there as well now. If we zoom out a little bit, you might be able to see that weather system off to the left. 
It might be coming over Denver, I hope not. Um, but it might be coming over Denver as we taxi into the gate. So we should be clear of it for the most part. And we can ding the cabin. Tell them that we're coming into the air airport uh, area now. And let's see what constraints. Maybe I'm gonna put airports on there and just see a couple of them. Don't really need to. It's looking good. There we go. Got our localizer beacon now. Our glide slope is not there yet, well, for obvious reasons. 210 knots is our speed. I remember this is going to be a high altitude landing, guys, since we're at the airport elevation itself is 5,400 something uh, feet. So 12,500, that's not too high above the airport. It's, uh, we're below 10,000 already for, for the most part. Um, there's another airport off our left there that we saw. Not sure which one this is, but outside the Denver area, obviously. It's on the outskirts. And Denver itself will be on a little bit more inwards. Out to tank fuel cross feed. Oh, nothing to worry about. Just some cross feed that's going on with the fuel. I'm gonna actually turn on the cross feed pumps to level that out if it's asking me. Pop down there. We'll get our fuel. Oh yeah, it's cross feeding from the outer tanks to the inner tanks. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, we don't need that then. Uh, overhead. Pop back up here. Oops, cross feed off now. Cool. Approach checklist is going to start in four, or f yeah, four miles. So we're going to activate the approach now in the MCDU. Confirm, activate. Yes. Approach checklist. There it goes. Ecam status checked. Sliding tables. Ooh, scenery is loaded. Right, Show table and cabin signs. Checked. Nav accuracy. Checked. Barrel reference. Checked. Two, nine or nine or six. Got the interstate going Two, into Denver nine here or on nine our left. Six. Checked. Check the check. Flaps one. Glide attendants, prepare for landing. I'm gonna hold one eight zero knots. Put that in there manually. Arm the speed brake. Spalas. There's that first notch of flaps looking very nice. And let's see, roughly 40 miles from the airport, or 30, sorry. 30 miles. Just coming into view there. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to announce on the Unicom frequency real quick. Sorry about the sound cutting out. I'm going to announce the traffic around Denver that we're landing. There's a glide slope coming in. Don't quite have the localizer yet. Twenty miles from the airport now. Slight freeze just here, just for a moment as the uh, scenery loads in. Can't see the airport lights yet. Should be somewhere over there, roughly. Ladies and gentlemen, flight attendant. Crew ten thousand. Here we go. Check. Please 
please ensure that your carry-on items and tray tables are stowed. The seat back is in its full upright position, and your seatbelt is securely fastened. Now some water for the landing. Brilliant. Interstate off the left there. Oh, those night lights look awesome. Sometimes they don't like really spawn along the whole way. I don't know why that is, but I guess it's just sort of a quirk, really. Um, but doesn't bother me too much, so I don't really care. I think I just hit the mic there. Sorry, guys, if that um, hit your drums pretty bad. Okay. That's a little bit more of a slow, a slow down. Minimum. Minimize the minimum uh, range bearing on there. Airport light should come in a second. That's a different airport right there, if you guys are wondering. <coughs> Not sure which one, but it's, it's a different one for sure. We might hit that glide slope before the localizer, which is going to be interesting. Let's see our ref speed 130. Uh, 130, so 140, I'll put in for the. Uh, on the uh, speed selector dial there. Mach 3 1. <laughs> Slow as hell. Alright, we'll capture the localizer. Glide slope's coming in now as well, so we're gonna arm approach and have it. It's on Cat 3 signal right now. Alright, go around altitude. 10,000. Cool. So I'm going to dial that up to 10,000. But not click it in, because that will actually make us climb. Alright, 11 miles from the airport. Slow into 170 so we can get flaps 2 down. Could get it down now, but uh, haven't bothered. 2,500. Localizer captured. There are the runway lights. They just popped into view. There's a, another airport here. And this is our runway we're lined up on. Beautiful. Flaps 2 coming out. Speed check. Flaps 2. Have any aircraft? Just Glide pay. slope captured. 747. Six zero, and we'll type on Unicom we're landing. One five zero, three zero zero at nine knots with the winds now. Gear down. Just coming down. Oh, beautiful noise. Zero final approach speed. Flaps three. Speed check. Flaps three. Go down. And three flaps green. full, please. Speed check. Flaps full. It's 1400, 1300 now. Landing checklist, please. Alrighty. Read the Landing control. Gear. Down and lock. Three green. Ground spoilers. <sighs> Checked and armed. Auto brakes. Second Low. autopilot is Exterior on. Exterior lights. On. Go around altitude. I always forgets to put Checked. both of those on. Landing memo. Checked and no blue. Checklist complete. I always forget to put both of those autopilots on. My bad. But nothing to worry about. One thousand. That's full. A little bit bumpy. I'm gonna slow it down to one thirty-five actually. One thousand. Auto flight off. Alright, autopilot's off. Let the auto throttle handle it for now, or handle the speed for now. Yeah, it's quite bumpy, isn't it? Wow. Welcome to Denver, mountainous airport. Bloody hell. I remember when I last departed out of here, it was the opposite of 35, and I went over that cargo area. That's cool. Alright. Auto throttle's off. 
I got control. 500. A little bit low. Just add some power in there and it will come right back up. There it goes. 400. A little bit left. Should crack it a little bit right. 300. 100 above. Oop, little glitch there. Too worry. Two minimum. Continue. Winds are pushing me a little bit. One hundred. A little bit high, but we have a long runway. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. 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 Ten. Five. Flare it. Oh, he's a lot of right rudder. There we go. Brown spoilers. First Reverse in. green. Hold it back. Get out to the center again. Lower the nose slowly. There we go. That was a little bit. That wind pushed us off a little bit. I wanted to glide all the way to the end of the room anyways because our gates are up here. Save the brakes. 70 knots. Put them on low. Reverse out. Manual brakes. Auto brakes off. We will be taxiing for a few more minutes. Please remain seated until the captain has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. Before you deplane, please check the seat pockets and other storage areas to make sure you have all your belongings. Use care when opening the overhead bins, as the contents may have shifted during the flight. If you are connecting to the ATU checkers, please. please check the seat departure monitor. Exterior line. Auto 18. Check. Ground spoilers. Set it off. Engine mode selector. Check normal. Flaps. Check retracted. TCAS. Check standby. Brake temperature. Checked. APU. Oh, there's a heavy 74. Checklist complete. Wonder where he's going. He might be a cargo. I'm going to Bravo 18, which is over there. Taxi gate, Bravo 18. I don't have the power, so we're gonna go on the right of this guy. I remember when I used to make those wing view videos. That was fun. Haven't made one of those in a very long time. Just haven't really had the need to. This is where all the regionals go right there. Those freaking gates. What's the point of even putting a jetway there? Don't even need it. We'll Following here, we don't want to hit the 74, so we're gonna branch onto the right uh, taxiway here. My God, he's coming fast, isn't he? Oh yeah, he is. Head on collision. <laughs> nah, that won't happen here. We are professional pilots. Oh, he's already turning, it looks like. Too bad, dude. We're turning this way. Yeah, next video I gotta get the 747 out of the hangar and fly that around. That'll be fun. There we go. P-A-Y, whatever that is, Pacifica or something, I don't know. 7-4. Going about his business. He's going to the runway I landed on, which is interesting, because he could just go to this one right here, 3-5, right in front there. He's those lights. Or 3-4 right. It's long enough for a 7-4 as well. I don't know why he's going all the way over there, but... Eh, well, not really my problem. our wheel in place as well with that thing and we can test our rudder. See so full left, full right. Actually where's the flight control thing? So we can test it on the taxi. It's pretty funny. It separates it from the nose wheel. Because that's uh that connects it to the pedals. 
Oh, we passed our gate. Oh no, we're up here. Yeah, there it is. Long way away. I'm about to yell. Alright, tax light's coming off. I'm gonna take off Mo Charlie and Vatson. Slower down a little bit here. Right turn in here. AC 19, so we don't really have much. Uh, we don't have to wait a little bit before we swing it around because it's such a short aircraft. He's not very aligned with the damn center line, is he? Because we're right on it. I know we are because I'm used to it. And he's saying 2.6 over. Weird. Weird, GSX. You're weird. Should be stopping it right about. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Sorry. A little bit more. Right about there. Oh, a little bit more. There. Park and break. Engine's coming out. Prepare doors for arrival and cross check. You hear the barking dog in the PTUs. That was a nice flight. A minute. So let's do the parking checklist and then we're done for the day. There it is. Parking Nibble brake and chocks. And the chocks are set. Parking brakes released. Engine master. Both off. Seatbelt signs. Set off. Beacon lights. Set off. Exterior lights. Checked. Anti eyes. What is Off. that? Fuel pumps! What is that? They have them at every gate. I don't off. know what they are, Checklist though. complete. Let me see if I can see what this is. Keep out no smoking restricted area. What the hell is it, though? I don't know. Anyways. Down to the FMC. We'll open the doors. Throw on the big white light. There we go, Sam. We're blinded. Throw off those lights. And we'll open our windows. Say hello to the outside world. Side, looking great. I'm not sure why the logo isn't lit up. It's kind of weird. Should be, but whatever. Really is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's for like buildings or whatnot. I don't know. Well, uh, there's that famous bridge and everything and building. Well, guys, uh, welcome to Denver. The airport that in the future will have 12 runways for uh, some reason. Not sure why you need bloody 12. But, uh, yeah, welcome to Denver. Awesome airport. Watch them deboard a little bit here. Well, that flight took, let's see on the A cars here. That flight took two hours and twenty minutes total. Two hours and one minute in the air. I expected two hours and one minute later in, in the air. Awesome. Whoa, that landing rate though. Negative sixty-nine feet per minute. <laughs> Lol. Sixty-nine is kind of a funny number, but wow, that's smooth. That was a nice landing. Floated it a bit, I admit, but we had a long Thank runway, you. so I didn't you really did bother about it. If it was a short runway, I would have put it down hard, if it, even if it meant like. Unimpressing a few passengers at any rate, because you need to get stopped in time, right? Um, nevertheless, great flight. Thank you guys as always for tuning in uh, for this one. And I hope to see you guys for the next one. Uh, like if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you did as well, uh, if you can. Um, and if I always take recommendations. Um, if you guys have any 
anything you would like me to fly or do or anything, just send me a little message in the comment section below. I get all the comments, I respond to all of them. Uh, if I can, if I'm here. Um, normally respond right away, but sometimes I'm obviously busy. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, have a great day guys, or night, or morning, wherever you guys are. And you see this video, and always remember, keep the airspeed alive. See you guys.